<laughs> What's up, Jeff? Everybody, he's finally awake. He's got bedhead. <laughs> what are we working on today? Uh, I'm just gonna go over wiring. I wanted to have a lot of content on this swap, and I haven't really put a whole lot of content out just because I've been busy working on my house and stuff. But I'm gonna start putting more content out, just kind of do it in pieces, which is actually nice because I think having parts and having it labeled is better than having one super long video and not having it labeled and mm -hmm. not having parts because then it'd be hard to follow the swap. True. Don't want to get copyrighted, you know? <laughs> so, we'll go over wiring because I was actually. So, the stuff I'm going over is stuff that I wish there was information on when I did this swap. So, I wish there was information on the wiring out there, and there is, but not very good information. So I'll go over information on wiring. And I also have the Honda K Pro, and I'll go over that too. We gotta block out the haters. <laughs> the Type R I drive like once a week, because the new daily is the Evo. But yesterday was Tuesday, so you best believe I took Type R out for Type R Type Tuesday. Type R Tuesday, yeah. Now, my baby, K-Swap Civic. So, for wiring, what I did, I used the stock, stock engine harness from the RSX, and then I used the hybrid racing conversion harness. Now, I was hoping that was all you would need, but there are a couple of parts that you still need. So hopefully, you still have your D-Series, because there's a couple of things you're gonna have to get from that. Series. As you can see, off the conversion harness that I have running in through the fender, because I'm trying to do a fender tuck, that's where I ran all my all my um, headlight harnesses. So here's the hybrid racing conversion harness, and then off of that, there's two loose wires. There's a green and a yellow. Now I also used the hybrid racing um, radiator, so that made it pretty easy. So off of that conversion harness, the yellow one the coolant temp sensor. Now, can you pull that off? I got this little guy off my D16 engine and then I had that soldered. My little brother did the soldering. I, I'm not sure I'm a fan of it, but as long as it gets the job done for now. But you have to get this, this part from um, Hybrid Racing. So a black piece, don't throw away that from your D16. So that's the coolant temp sensor. Now, green wire goes to the fan switch. And the same thing, I took that old fan switch from the D16, and the piece that's inside the radiator, you have to buy that from Hybrid Racing. So, those are the two parts you want to get from your, um, uh, your D16. If I'm not mistaken, this is gonna be the part for the fan from the stock harness that comes off the headlight harness over here. So I'm pretty sure I can just get a connector for these fans and connect that into there. I have the conversion harness coming out of here. So there's a primary O2 sensor and that's obviously going to go down there and connect. The rest of the conversion harness, I have it just, it looks really bad. I'm going to find a better way to tuck it. But then like I said, there's two green wires. The block that is with those two green wires plugs in right up here by the um, shock tower. The rest of it goes inside of the car. Okay, let me grab my K-Pro. So, there's other stuff for the conversion harness. I've just all taped up because I don't need it. Um, so, these wires, already you know in the um, in the Civic and all these wires are already in the Civic so this is a hybrid racing conversion harness this threaded looking thing so you plug the green into the green and then you plug this long skinny gray into the long skinny gray you're left with this white and three more plugs now there's a relay that I have to wire in and I'll deal with that now this is gonna be the first time I plugged it into the K-Pro Finally got a K-Pro from Honda. 
Um, ordered this from HP, HPTAutosport.com. I ordered pretty much all my K-Tune stuff from them. All the hybrid racing stuff I got from Black Friday like last year. So I've been working on this for about a year and a half. Kind of going slow because I'm not a baller. And I can't buy all these cars and put money into this at the same time. Kind of got to pick and choose. So this is really easy. Um, kind of just plain Legos at this point. That goes there. And then, so that, that's coming off the, the hybrid racing conversion harness. These other two are coming off the Civic harness. And so, I'm gonna flip this around. Make sure I'm doing this right. Okay. Oh, there goes that box. Just like that. So there's done. That's it. And obviously you'll plug this into your laptop for tune. That's it. And then my understanding, in the K-Pro, you don't really need this stuff. I was told online what you would use this stuff for, but I really don't think I need it. I think I just need this cord. I need to find a better way to mount that all up, but at least it's in the car. Don't gotta worry about it. That's it. It's literally all the wiring stuff. So it's actually really simple. That conversion harness, it's all labeled, you know, fan switch, temp switch, um, O2 sensor, and then what's all wrapped up is a secondary O2 sensor, and I'm not gonna use that, so that's fine. And that's really easy to hook up. I just came in through where the sock harness comes in. I just dropped it in through there, fed it in here, hooked it all up, and that's about it. Okay, so to go over the engine harness aspect, because I've kind of just gone through the hybrid racing conversion harness, to go over the engine harness, you know, I was really confused because I'm like, how am I supposed to do this? Well, usually for this engine harness, this wraps around and this usually ends up, you know, by the transmission or down here. And then there's all these clips that clip this to the block. Well, I unclipped everything, pulled it like this, and I wrapped it around going like this. So perfect. So should be able to just plug these in right here. Now I've seen some people, what they'll do is they cut these off and they drill a hole and just plug it in like that. So that's what I'm gonna try to do. Just cut that, drill that, plug that in, plug that in. Now that's for the um, their fuses and everything. And then this is what powers the battery. So I need to figure out how to extend this and then I'll put my battery inside. So I'll extend that into here and I'll just go through, um, probably not gonna run a sub amp, so I'll probably just take that out and go through there. And it actually looks like my Zeta 3s right here. Sick. I ordered these um, on Cami Speed, and they were all out. So they had to come through, um, they had to um, come, Back order from, it. come from Japan, yeah. So, you know, Bride, they only do shipments every so often. So uh, I had to wait like six, seven weeks for these. So my heart's actually beating. I see one of the seats now. I am so stoked right now. Uh, we will go back to the chart, the engine harness in two seconds. So we're back at it. So I took this over here and I'll extend this power probably to go into there. Um, I'm trying to think of a better way to tuck this. Maybe when I extend it, flip this. Yeah, because it's touching like a lot right now. It's not good, right? Yeah. And I have to put all the grounds on, which I have the grounds. But I think that's about it. Yeah, and then I just, I ran the um, harness into here. So I see it's in there. So the other, well, the other thing, I connect the IAT sensor. So with the hybrid racing intake, 
you have to drill into a silicone and just stick the IET sensor in and plug that in. But um, I just I just got to take the intake off and actually I have the case the K tuned um, throttle cable and bracket that I need to put on when I take off the intake. Anyways, if you buy a swap and it has all the wiring and stuff on it, like you're set. Um, updates um, next month. This is gonna get a roll cage. And then it is gonna get painted, and when it gets the roll cage, it'll get the fuel lines hooked up, and then it should be running. So fingers crossed, nothing is wrong with this engine. When I bought it, it was supposed to have like 200 um, compression all all the way across the whole engine. So we'll see if that's right. Also, my uh, shifter is all hooked up, so and it feels awesome. But I'm pretty stoked in a couple hours here. Hopefully my bride seats are gonna come. Um, I ordered some Zeta 3s. I ordered a pair of them. So they're gonna come in here. So I'm gonna do obviously a Zeta 3 right here, Zeta 3 right here. I'm gonna go with the red carpet and then I'm gonna go with the rear seat delete. So instead of having a rear seat, I'm just gonna have a, um, a sheet of aluminum that's just covering that. So it's gonna look clean. And then my, my roll cage is gonna be really cool you know I'm gonna have it it's only gonna be on the roof I'm gonna have some awesome door bars and it's gonna go into the dash so hopefully if I roll this thing I'll be okay um, if you guys have any questions just um, message me and I usually try to message back within a day or so so yeah thanks for watching guys appreciate it hit subscribe like and, you know comment thanks guys